All right, guys, what's going on? Um, <clears throat> got another Xcode tutorial. Today we are going to be talking about running your applications on an actual iOS device. So to do that, I have I will have the usual screencast, but I'm also going to have a video fading in and out of just like a camera, so you can see the device going on or what's going on in the device, I guess. And so this application I have is just a kind of simple. Um, fun app, I guess, doesn't really have a purpose. It's basically just a dice rolling app. So, first of all, we're just going to run it on the iPhone simulator, just so you can get a feel for what it looks like. Alright, so here it is. You swipe the dice to roll, um, got a little fading message, tap to dismiss, it automatically dismisses. So, the thing about this app is it's kind of a little bit like awkward to test on the simulator because you have to like push up and then like uh and it like it doesn't really I mean you can do it but it doesn't really work and so the, a better way to test this is to run it on the simulator so I'm actually gonna quit this and I'm just gonna make a note right now um, before we're too far into the video you need to have a developer account a paid developer account in order to run your code on devices so I mean that's kind of a caveat but I guess you really need to be sure that you know you want to do applications before you really do this. But once you're in, take the plunge. So, all right. So I have my iPhone plugged into the computer. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is go to Organizer, and I've already done this, but I'll do it again. So, Devices. I'm in the documentation, just looking around, and I have a couple different devices hooked up. I have a 3GS, uh, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 2G. And so, this one's the iPhone 4, but if you'll see, it's plugged in. And so, all you need to do when you first plug your iOS device in is it's going to say, have a button right here and says, use for development. You click the use for development button, log in with your credentials, and then just do add to portal. And then it'll do this, um, install your profiles, ask you your password. And there you go. So now that you're done with that, you can select your device inside the Xcode organizer exactly in the same spot you select iPad or iPhone simulator. So now we're just going to click run and I'm going to hold this here so you can see. So it takes a little bit of time to run, but then it automatically unlocks your phone and there's the app. So if you can see, it runs exactly the same, and the cool thing is you can still have your breakpoints and everything just like you would have in the simulator. So let's test it out. Yep, so there you go. Give it a swipe. It works. If you can see here, I have an NS log set up so that it tells me what my number generator generated is just so I can be sure that it's matching, and I'm just going to test it in all four directions. Yep, test it in this one. Okay. Test it in the last direction. And then I'm going to make sure a couple taps doesn't do anything. So that's really all there is to it. And then when you want to stop it, you just hit stop and it automatically quits it. And it actually installs it on your home screen so you can unplug it and still use your app. And I would suggest doing this before you actually submit your final build because if you have a problem with the for example, the unit testing framework or something, it'll take a few days and a few runs and quits of your app to be sure that it actually um, will, you know, won't have any problems. So there it is. Um, you know, it's just kind of a fun app I made. I'll probably put it on the App Store. Uh, if I do, I'll put a link on it. But right now, I'm not doing too much with it. Um, I just kind of had some fun building it. But yeah, so that's really it. That's there's not too much to running um, an application on your device except for that it's a really useful thing to know how to do and it's a really um, important way of being sure that your application actually works as you think it does on the simulator so that's it uh, let me know if you have any questions leave them in the comments send me a message do whatever and 
Request what you want for your next tutorial. I've heard a couple things on my what do you want me to do on Xcode video, but feel free to holler and you know tell me what you want, and that's really it. Talk to you guys later.